Hello, welcome to episode 186 of the Epic Film Challenge, A Monster in Paris. Um, this is an animation film, French animation film, uh, it's in English, um, and it has, um, I think, mainly American voices. Anyway, set in Paris, there's a monster in Paris. Uh, we have these two main characters, um, who I don't remember the names of, unfortunately, and um, they, uh, they, they're in this scientist lab and they knock some things over and there's a potion that makes someone sing really well and there's a potion that makes something really big and it mixes with a flea makes a seven foot flea who can sing uh, the singing is done by Sean Lennon, the son of John Lennon and this is the best part of the film for me because so John named his son Sean yeah what? Sean, John Similar, isn't it? I think he has like another second name, like a Japanese name. I'm not sure is, is Yoko. I'm not sure if Yoko is Japanese or whatever. Anyway, I think he's got another bit to his name. Anyway, <laughs> and he and he sounds a lot like his dad when he sings, but it's so different at the same time. He sings so high. At first, I thought it was a woman. I read before that it was Sean Lennon singing, and I thought, well, it can't be because that's a woman, obviously. But then, obviously, then it sounded a bit more like a male's voice, and then it sounded like it was a Beatles song. And there was all this crazy imagery going on, and it's, it was like a Beatles music video. Uh, but yeah, he's got an amazing voice, I'm going to have to um, track down some of his albums and stuff. He hasn't made many, but... Um, so yeah, uh, and I really liked that part of the film. I liked how musical the film was, and how the flea um, not only can sing well, but is really musically inclined, like he's got this comb when he starts flicking it, like in in time with you know some kind of music. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go too much into the plot, but it was a great film. I always love animation films. I find it hard to not like them. I find it hard to kind of dismiss all the work that's gone into a film that looks like that. And all the, the Paris background looks awesome. And it was set in 1910 or something like that, when there was a real-life flooding of um, the Seine, the, uh, the river in Paris. So uh, the river actually went up to the Eiffel Tower, and there was a really cool scene at the Eiffel Tower at the end of the film. Really enjoyed it, but it's not like a classic, classic animation film. So I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching.